The streets of Sinval serve as a daily reminder of bloodshed and bombing. But this is not the South Ossetia that Constantine says he lives in. Because every day he steps into a different world. After the war, we could not give ourselves to dance. But we've picked ourselves up and we've started to tour again. When I come here, I can leave all my troubles behind. To dance is to thrive and to live. The young dancers say this is in the heart of every Ossetian, an integral part of their culture. A woman must demonstrate grace and humility, because years ago her hand could not be touched. And the man should portray a proud warrior and one with nimble toes. Constantine shows us how he's mastered the art of standing on point without using ballet blocks. He says it's essential for an Ossetian man to keep on dancing through the pain. Well, the qualities of the Ossetian people are not only illustrated in their dance, but they're also represented by the national flag. White is for wisdom. Red for military valour, and yellow is for grace. It's with good grace and hospitality that Zelina and Maria welcome us into their home. They're cooking a Setian pirogi, or pies, a much-loved national dish. It's traditional for a mother to teach her daughter the secrets of good pie-making, and pies in this part of the world must be made in threes. Three pies symbolise heaven, sun and earth. It is very tasty and everyone likes it. As a ritual, the first slice is given to the youngest family member. While Gennady, the eldest, says a prayer for peace and then makes a toast with a Setian beer. This is the national tipple and Lemiro is known as the best beer maker in Sinval. Sweet tasting and almost non-alcoholic, she says it's suitable for every occasion. Beer is really necessary for any celebration, be it funeral or a wedding. Our forefathers, the Allens, used to brew beer, so I'm carrying on the tradition. She uses traditional brewing methods and a wood fire, and a secret recipe, which she's only told to her son. Like Lumira, many locals say it's essential to pass on the heritage and culture to their children. We sing for Assetia. Assetians are pinning their hopes on this generation. A generation that is proud of the past and sings for the future. So when you look past all the destruction here, you begin to understand who the Ossetians really are. We've seen nothing but kindness, generosity, hospitality here. It really does shine through. It, and it's clear that it's their culture that keeps them going. Well, thank you very much.